Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana, a training content manager here at Pragmatic Works, and I'm excited to announce our new class SSIS in the cloud. And in this video, we're going to look at a few questions that should give you a nice understanding of what you should expect with this class, what you need for this class, and what you're going to learn from this class. So let's take a look. So this class is really designed for those users who've been thinking about this whole concept of I'm using SSIS, I want to start moving into Azure, I'm not ready for Azure Data Factory just yet. If any of those kind of terms have come into play, SSIS, Azure, ADF, Azure Data Factory, any of those have come into your head, then this is definitely the class for you. Because what we're going to be looking at is taking SSIS packages, so you may have them right there running right now in your environment, and we can just take them as is and move or lift and shift them up into Azure itself, so into the cloud environment. Or maybe you're not ready to go to that step, but you want to start moving data in your cloud environment. We're also going to look at those pieces. So really anything around SSIS, Azure Data Factory, Azure itself with Azure Storage, any of those things, if that's an interest, if that's a talking point at work right now, this is the class that you want to be looking at. So in order to make sure that this is a successful class for you, you should have a basic understanding of integration services. So hopefully you've made a couple of SSIS packages. If you've, go, if you've gone through our introduction to SSIS, then that's perfect. You understand what a control flow is, you know what a data flow is, you understand tasks, sources, and transforms, and how to create connection managers. With all of that in your tool sets, you'll be ready to go. Because we are gonna create packages, but we're not gonna dwell on the design process, how this all works. We're going to create some very simple packages and leverage the new features, right? Take advantage of these Azure components in the SSIS environment. They're in that canvas area when creating packages. We're going to do that with something fun called the Azure Feature Pack. So as long as you know a little bit of SSIS, you should be smooth sailing. Don't I wouldn't say it's 100% necessary, but I think to extract everything and so that you can really move through this class at a good pace, I would recommend that. So the reason why this is a really important class is because SSIS has been so effective and such a useful ETL tool, right? A great tool for extracting, transforming, and loading data. And we've been using it for so many years. But with this onset and popularity of Azure and all those great services and features, we're seeing this trend and moving towards these various different Azure services. And that's the fun piece. That's the neat part of it is that you can do it piecemeal. You can only use Azure SQL DB or you can use this and you can keep your SSIS packages and move it into that cloud environment and still be familiar with that process because it's just an SSIS package, but now it's in Azure. So that is one of the key things. You can now stay with the knowledge, stay with the now, stay with this understanding of what was going on with Azure. And now that you have pieces of your on-premises environment, so your SSIS package that were executing using local on-prem resources, now they'll be using your Azure resources. And you don't have to really spend a ton of time on redesign. There might be some small tweaks, but very minimal. Now they're up there, they're still moving that data. And I think this provides a great opportunity and leeway so that you can slowly potentially maybe transition to using things like pipelines with Azure Data Factory, or even especially, you know, data flows, which is a little more parallel in comparison to SSIS. But going through this class and understanding this knowledge, you get that understanding of Azure and you get an understanding of those capabilities to know, is this what I need for my organization? So really this class, it's all about the structure. We pride ourselves in the way that we organize this content in a very easy, digestible manner. So from A to Z, from the beginning to end, you can stay with us, right? We're going to start in a very organic pattern where we're going to have, we're going to create ourselves an SSIS ecosystem, like a, a set of packages that would have potentially and theoretically have been running in our organization for a while. And then take those, leverage them against Azure sources and destinations, then push them out to Azure Data Factory. We're gonna go through all this process. And as we go through it, explain all the elements and pieces. So yes, we're gonna dive into the Azure portal. Yes, we're gonna look at Azure SQL DB, uh, blob storage. We're gonna go through this whole process, create an Azure Data Factory. We're gonna provision an ADF instance. We're gonna do all of this, but in a nice controlled, organized manner. So you don't have to be bouncing around, trying to learn each piece and maybe not even in the right order. Nicely organized as if because this is what we do ourselves this is how we do this here at pragmatic works and we found that this is the best way to teach and inform so when it's all said and done and you're finished with the class you should have a really great understanding around the azure ecosystem when it comes when it comes in regards to using etl right the ssis packages 
is this the route that my organization needs to take? Or do we need to kind of maybe jump over and immediately just start designing an Azure Data Factory? And then we have an entire course for that as well. But you'll have an understanding of what capabilities and what offerings Azure can provide you going through this route. This idea of SSIS in the cloud with going with something called lift and shift, which is the heavy focus of this class itself. So you'll know exactly what the next move is for your organization. So hopefully you're as excited, hopefully you're as excited as I am for this SSIS in the cloud class, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.